things that you need to know to start your Thursday. Number one, it takes us to Columbia, Missouri, where police there now say the death of a 28 year old tri-state native was likely a drug related home invasion and homicide. Clark County native Augustus Roberts was found dead early Monday morning at a Columbia home. Number two, authorities arrested a Chicago man in Adams County for an arrest warrant out of Logan County, Illinois. That's for attempted murder. The 23 year old suspect is now in the Adams County Jail on a $1 million bond. Number three, top Democrats at the Capitol in Des Moines say Iowa's public employee retirement system could be in jeopardy come January when the 2018 legislative session begins. State Treasurer Mike Fitzgerald and State Senator Matt McCoy held a press conference expressing concern over possible changes to IPERS next session. And number four, families of residents who died from Legionnaire's disease at the Illinois Veterans Home in Quincy have now filed suit against the state of Illinois and Governor Bruce Rauner. Number five, President Donald Trump inching closer to securing a major legislative victory on tax reform. Yesterday, House and Senate Republicans reached an agreement in principle on a final tax package, which they aim to vote on by next week. And number six, today marks five years since the deadly shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The incident left 20 students and six faculty members dead. The community of Newtown, Connecticut now plans to create a memorial in their honor. And number seven, temperature is not too bad this morning. Uh, upper 20s as you head out the door. We'll talk about a cool down over the next couple of days, but it's nice to see it not as windy.